Hello. In today's video, we are going to learn how to dynamically rank a field based on different measures and then use this rank to hide or unhide the rows. Before I try to build this, first I want to show how the output looks like and then we'll go through step-by-step -step process to learn this. Here is a PBX file and as you can see, you, we can see a couple of slices and a matrix. And there are like approx five measures here. One is a cost, revenue, total profit, profit percentage and rank model. So just notice here how this rank changes automatically when I select a different values from this slicer. So suppose let me select cost. So you can see the model B is ranked one and the model D is ranked two. Similarly, let me do it based on profit percentage. Model A has the highest profit percentage and it's ranked one and B the second. So again, I have an option to select the rank which is ranked between one to two, three to four, and five to six. Suppose let me select three to four. So you can see I, uh, the models which are ranked three and four, and it's based on profit percentage. So I'll take you through step by step on how to build this particular calculation. So let's get started. The first step is I need to create a slicer at the top to decide on what basis I need to rank my data, right? So as uh, you would have seen, I have cost, revenue, profit, profit percentage, etc. So first what I'll do is I'll create a table and I'll call this as a dim rank. This is a data table. Okay, I'll call this as ID. Okay, and then call this as a data type integer. And then I want another column, which is called as rank by, and let's keep this as a string, okay? Hit enter. And then I want the ID to between one to four. So call this as and then let me call the first value as a cost. The second one, let's call this as revenue. Then we'll bring in the profit. And then the last one will be the profit percentage. So now we have a data table, right? So which we can use this as a slice. So, so now what I'm gonna do is I need rank by, make this as a slice. So, okay, so we are done with the first step. So this will help us to determine how we should rank our fields. So I'll make this as a single select, multi-select off, okay. And now let's go to the next step. So the next step would be create one more slicer here, which will help us to decide what rank you need to show between like one to two, two to three, three to four, etc. So let me create a, add one more uh, data table here. New table. Let me copy the quotes for the sake of time. So as you can see here, dim show model, I'll call this table as, and then we have uh, the data table function and ID that is one, two, three. 
and in which will keep this as an integer and then i can't rank between so we'll have three classification one to two three to four and five to six which is a string and minimum and max so minimum is again integer and max is integer so this will help us to get the rank between one two three four and the five and six so let me hit enter So as you can see, I have created a new data table here and use this here. Let me bring back this field. Change this to a slicer. And let's keep this as a single select. Okay. So now we we uh, we have two slicer. So the next step is we need to create a calculated measure, which is called as a rank by model. So we want to rank the product uh, based on various criteria, cost profit. And then if you look at the dealer data, we have the model name. So I want this into the rows. So first let me add a metrics here. and then bring the model name to the rows. And at the same time, let me bring in uh, the total cost to the values, total revenue and total profit. Let me bring in the profit percentage as well. I don't want the total, so let me Turn it off. So this is what I need. And then I want to rank this based on these parameters, right? Based on these values. So I'm going to create one more uh, function here. And then I'll call this as rank by model. So create a new measure. All this as rank model. I'm going to use selected value function along with the switch. Switch. I'm going to use uh, the selected value function because based on the values I select in the rank, rank by, so this will change dynamically. I have something called rank ID. So the, when the value is one, so we know we have assigned uh, one for cost, right? I'll use the rank X function. And then the table name is dealer data. So we know that it's a dealer data. And we also know the field name is model name. So I can just try type directly. It's not showing up. Okay, I need to use all function so that uh, there is no cross filter. a model name and then expression right so when it is when i've selected one it means it's a cost so i need to use the total cost let me round this off to two decimal places and then i need uh, it's in descending order. And then if it is a tie, we can decide whether it's a dense or skip. So I'll use dense for now. I don't want to skip this. Okay. So let me go to the next one. 
that is when it is second rank the second id so what i'll do is for the sake of time let me copy this here paste it instead of total cost i know the next one is revenue copy this paste it here the next one is total profit The last one is profit percentage. Okay, close the parenthesis and hit enter. So now we know we have calculated the rank. So let me bring this to the measures. So I'll bring this to measure so that you can see the rank. So by cost, I think uh, the model B has the highest cost is a 10,000. And then let's go by profit percentage. The model A has the highest profit margin, 33.3, and that's why it's rank one. So now I need to use this field, right? Uh, whether I need to show, I want to show only those which I've select here. Suppose I select one to two, I should be able to see only those our models which are ranked one and two. So to do that, I need to add one more measure. Let me call this as a show models. New measure. Call this as show. Show models equal to so I'm going to use uh, selected value function again here, along with if we find selected value from this field, I can't rank from this table. So if I go back to this table, what is the name I've given here? Okay, midnight max. Just a second. So this is a rank. Is greater than or equal to. Then I have to use the selected value function. Min. Second one is rank model is less than or equal to max. Selected value from this field. then I'll make this as one, else zero. So now if you try to bring it here, for the sake of this example, let me try to show it to you, show model. So now if, if you see here, so whenever I've selected one, two, so basically it means I have to show only the top two ranks, one and two. So now let me select three and four, you can see it means those models which are ranked between three and four is having one. Similarly, when I select five and six, so I only have five models here. So you can see it here. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use this show model as, as a, at a visual level filter. So I'll drag this and drop it here. Models. Let 
me remove this to see you. Okay, it's here. Okay. Is one apply filter. So now you can see I can lock this up. When I select one to two, I am able to see only those two models. When I select three and four, I can select, I can see only the models that's ranked between three and four. And then I can change this. Right now it's based on profits. So I can select based on revenue. So this is gonna change dynamically. So let's say one and two. So the model B has the highest revenue and the model D has the second highest revenue. So it's ranked based on this revenue. And if you want to see the model which has the lowest revenue, I'll select five and six. And you can see the model C has the lowest revenue. I can do the same thing for profit. So the model E has the lowest profit. And if I want to see the top one, I have the model A, which has the highest profit margin and the total profit as well. And the B has the next one. So this is how we can use uh, a rank function to dynamically change, dynamically calculate, and then show or hide a particular field. I hope this video was helpful and thanks for watching.